Let's see. Last round. Another couple familiar faces mm -hmm. for this last round. We've got Eric Ford on the green white hex proof. And we've got Ben Newton playing the Suicide Blue deck. Yeah. Which is going to be his last. <gasps> which hurrah. Is, yeah, this is the last hurrah for the Suicide Zoo deck. I'm wondering, like. Are there any other ways that you can make it work without the Cataxians? Like, how. You know. Is it just still not going to be enough? Like, that extra draw, I, I think, mean, was a big part of it. A lot of people are making the argument that not only is Suicide Blue done, but also the Suicide Zoo. Yeah. Because the Cataxian probe is gone. It does make it tougher. I mean, I guess you can adjust the Suicide Blue. The Suicide Zoo list. And add in that um, black instant. Is it instant? Maybe sorcery. I think it's instant. Uh, plus one, plus O. Oh, target creature gains infect. Mm -hmm. And then, like, you could do it that way with, like, the suicide zoo list, maybe. And be okay. Instead of having to rely so much on. Here's like 20 damage in a turn. Mm -hmm. You can be like, well, here's 10 damage in a turn. I don't know. Just, maybe, just something to think about. <laughs> he moved on. That's true. Worth did. All right. Final round of, of the day, guys. We sped right along. We were late getting started, but... Matches were quick. Matches were all very quick. Mm -hmm. Pretty much almost all of them have been two O's. Yeah. So. A little one-sided, but... Are you going to use this? Nope. All right. I'm gonna use... Actually, you know what? I am going to use it. All right. I'm going to use it all the time in all of the standard. Cool. <laughs> Do you want to add it to the list of stuff to ask for? I mean, if we can get some hearts, I think it's hurt. Because what is... I don't even remember what heart does. It's a... Uh, Pay two to four four that you need to crew for three. Does it fly? It does fly. That's nice. Okay. We haven't seen these decks on camera yet today. Which one would you like to talk about? Oh, let's see. I know how much you like the all in plan. <laughs> they're both so all they're in. All, they're both all in. <laughs> so I'm going to let you choose. Um, well, you played a deck very similar to Ben's. True. So why don't you talk a little bit about Ben's list? Yeah, so the, the Suicide Blue list, as we see a tapped Steam Vents and a untapped Tipple Gardens, and a Glade Cover Scout coming in for Eric. Basically, it's, a, it's an all-in strategy, but it requires a creature. It requires a Kiln Fiend. It requires a Thing in the Ice. Mm -hmm. You can also do, like, slow chip-aways with... Swift spears before true. getting a big turn. Yeah, but true. yes, it does. It needs those creatures. I think the coolest play I've seen, and it happened to me, so I know it's cool. <laughs> um, is you have the thing in the ice, uh -huh. and you can't trip out. You play Gitaxian probes. You play uh, Metamorphose. You play. I think that's Griff Spoon. Yep. Give it plus one, plus O, and yep. flying. So that's two. It's two damage coming across. Um, and you just kind of canter about the thing in the ice flips, but it takes all the pumps with it. So at the end of the day, it's like a, you know, 10 plus whatever yeah. horror. The only other horror creature that I can think of is Spellskite. Yep. So anything but Spellskite gets bounced, and then you take a massive amount of damage. And if they have the, the mana still up to be able to team or battle rage. Yeah, right, like, exactly. Oh, now it's got yeah. double strike and trample? It runs team or battle rage, by the way. <laughs> I love that card. Uh, oh, he goes for the bolt against the Dryad Arbor. Eh, swings in, does get the triggers off there. So that's, what, two, and does... Uh, the the fiend get plus two or plus three? It's plus two. Okay, so takes five damage, goes to thirteen, and will fetch down to twelve. Now, really, one way that our green white hexproof player can start to come back is by 
getting some lifelink going. Mm -hmm. Daybreak Coronet would be a great one. But what is the green, white, hexproof deck? Oh, yeah, we've been talking so much about the Suicide Blue. And there hey, it is, Daybreak is. Coronet. Yeah. So the objective is you're playing creatures with hexproof because you want to keep them alive from being killed off and getting, like, two for one when they, you play all these horrors on them. Yeah. Um, but the only exception is it runs Dryad Arbor and the Core Spirit Dancer there. That whenever you play a or a card, you get to draw a card, and if you attach those onto the Spirit Dancer, she gets plus two, plus two. Um, but the objective is you play these one-drop creatures like Slippery Boggle, like Glaive Cover Scout here, and you just drop down a bunch of enchantments and stuff on it, and you start having having a good old time here. A good old um, time. Now this elf is a five, four with lifelink and vigilance and flying and something else too. Storm um, count, one. It's a load of blue and a red. Trigger prowess and trigger to the killing fiend. I love Manamorphose in this deck. I think it's really smart. in the tank thinking about his next play. Yeah, because you have to be careful about this. Um, the lifelink is relevant and with it having vigilance, this scout can just keep raining on your parade here. Yeah. So it's coming down to what other ways can I use this? Now Thing in the Ice, if he can play that and stabilize long enough to get it to flip, he actually can really do some serious damage because the bouncing the creature is not a targeted effect. Yeah. Just bounce all other creatures. But actually opting for another fiend here which can be important too because that's basically his way of saying now I can go wide here because you're not going to have very many creatures and sneak in and as long as I get like two creatures that you're not going to block I can kill you eventually mm -hmm. alright Rancor is nice oh my. plus two attack and trample so now he's a Lifelink, Trample, Flying. Does Daybreak give it first strike too? I think so. Card. Yeah, that's what it is. Plus three, plus three, first strike, Vigilance, and Lifelink. Yep, and it's got... Um, Flying and trample from his other two enchantments. Alright, so here we go. Swinging in. Path this one. Response. Apostles blessing it. I'm assuming here. We'll get triggers off. Nice. 
That's a good way to do it. Triggers, of course. Oh, block there. Hmm. What do you think about that? I think you have to block one of the fiends. Killing fiends. Yeah. Vapor snag it. Triggers. Go to four. Oh no. So it looks like he, he's actually at 23. I had him at 24. Um, that's my bad. Um, but, so we've got, we've had one, two spells go off so far. Um, I was thinking about casting your third. Yeah. I don't know. I, I Honestly, I think you're at four. You need to... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, even if he casts, like, a lightning bolt at face, it's still the third spell. What is that? Uh, he gets three, six, nine. That would be Xaxes, but if he doesn't have lightning bolt, then... Right. Because then you... I mean, you, then you would... Uh, just attack with the Killing Fiends, leave the mountain up, and then on your second main phase, play that Swiss Spear and try to stabilize for another turn. Mm -hmm. So Eric will take that first one. We'll go to sideboards. Uh, what what sort of cards does uh, Ben want to bring in against Eric? The thing is... Based on the list, like it's probably has s spell skites in there. Sure. It pr probably like I don't know, like Ben's list has probably some ways to deal with artifacts and enchantments there. Um, whether he n needs those. Is debatable with how quick his deck is. You might not need. You might just go for the ignore strategy. Sure. Of, I'm not going to change my deck to respond to you. I'm going to go with my plan, um, and feel confident enough. I mean, we saw how explosive it was. Uh, the stabilizing factor was having that daybreak coronet. So, I don't know. It's it's going to be a tough one. Neither player really seemed like they wanted anything from their board, though. Yeah, true. That's uh, that's something I always, I always try to caution myself against as well. Mm -hmm. Is always make sure you look at your board. Just really take a look at your cards and say, all right, is it really not anything I need? Yeah. Because is even though you won, you know, you took that first game. Mm -hmm. If your opponent brings something in, what are you not prepared for? Mm -hmm. So polluted delta for Ben. Swift spear, going to seventeen. Gonna deal. Potentially one has the option for mutagenics and stuff like that. But True. It's like nope. Gonna save those. Verge into a slippery boggle. Mm -hmm. Just a one-one hexproof. That's it. Nothing crazy there. Scalding tarn. Swings for one more. Yeah, no box. Thing in the ice is the follow-up here. Nice. Right. Here we go. Four ice counters. Loses even more life to do that. Down to 14 here. Where 
Horizon Canopy. Yeah. Hopefully we'll see a reprint of that. <laughs> I mean, it's good, but it's not like $100 worth. <laughs> you know? Pay life, get a green or white. Yeah. Sack it, draw a card. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> yeah. Nah. I don't want to spend $80 on that. I mean, that's fine. Wow. Yeah, crash. Hyena Umbra. Is that Spirit Mantle? Maybe I missed the second one underneath of it. But definitely Hyena Umbra on the top side there. Which will give it plus one and first strike. And then... Or is that the the flying one? Plus one, plus O. Oh. oh, is that Griff, Griff's Boon? It might be. Okay. So, so daybreak. three damage he dealt. Rancor. Put him to 11. Um, He's actually at 9. Oh, the 9. Okay, so th looking at this here is a good way of, of being like, okay, you have Daybreak next turn and like Rancor and stuff I like gotta that. I gotta kill you now. Can I get you here? Let's see. Already got a trigger off. Uh, how big can I make my thing in the ice? Metamorphose 2, Luna Red. Get taxi in. Go to seven. Don't you just miss that card? It's only been a day. Yeah. <laughs> Bible thump seven. Bible seven. All right. Let's see. One more trigger. I'll be swinging in seven. Got a serum to be used, which will flip, draw a card, set everything up. You will lose your enchantment. He's like, no, that actually goes to your hand. Doesn't die. Fun fact. One on top, one on bottom. Mm hmm. And fourteen. Yep. No. Is yeah, yeah, you're right. Because he doesn't get any pumps. All right, so he'll drop down. Actually, two, three. So we we missed one. Oh, the horizon canopy. That's why. So we're sitting here talking trash about its price and missed that one damage that it dealt. Um, so, playing your Slippery Boggle and such, you're starting to put the enchantments back on it. Um, I don't know if it matters. Um, well, I mean... Because you have to block with the creature. You do, but... He'll have two extra mana. I don't know if it's going to be enough, but... Now, actually, with him fetching, he could go for the Dryad Arbor here. Oh, no. Because, like, you could play your... Your... Boggle, put, like, a Rancor or something on it, and then... Fetch for your Dryad Arbor. Yeah, when they attack. A sign of blocker. Right. And then you're able to... Mm -hmm. Kind of build up an even stronger creature. Boggle. Ouch. Goes to one. That one's the spirit mantle. Yeah, it's spirit mantle. But it 
doesn't matter. No, because no matter what, one damage one is damage gonna get is in. coming through. <laughs> that was nice to try to stabilize there though with the spirit mantle. Alright, so one last round to go. <sighs> Tied up. One to one. Get that hype going. Look at that. A three game series. Like pretty much our first one of oh, yeah. tonight, it seems. Both players not going back to their sideboards. Mm -mm. I don't think you can really rely on the sideboard stuff. Like, unless... The Hexproof player had, like... What's that one and a white they sack attacking creature? Blessed Alliance. That guy. I think that, like, if they had some of those... And the sideboard maybe bring it's them. It's a fantastic in. card. It's really good. Yo, Davish with the follow. Thank you so much, dude. Glad you like the channel. Appreciate thank you, thank that. you, thank you. We're trying to get up to 200 followers. It's our goal right now. We're halfway. Yeah, we are. So let's do this thing. Seven cards. Razor Verge, Boggle, Pass. Island Serum. Okay. So no Swift Spear on the first turn here, but that could be showing that he's got the fiends at, or a thing in the ice for the follow-up turn. True. Plays a forest. Mm -hmm. Spider Umbra, Rancor. Nice. Or is that two? No, it's Spider Umbra and Rancor. So, one, two, three, four damage coming across. Polluted Delta will be our land play. Probably going for Steam Vents at this point in time. So, we'll end up losing three more going to 13. But, yep, there's the Fiend. The Rancor. Show me the Daybreak. Oh no, Spirit Mantle. That's a lot of damage, actually. Spirit Mantle's plus one for each enchantment you control, right? Or is that the other one? One, two, three, four. No, I think it's. Let's find out. Yep, plus one, plus one protection from creatures. So, yeah, I was thinking of the other one. But, yeah, so. Storm count two. Seven damage. 
taxi and probe. <laughs> What's in your hand? Oh, it's a lamb? Cool. Team of Battle Rage, trigger. Oh my gosh. Uh, kill you? Wow. Um, 26 damage? Jeez. Well, if you count the double striking. So it's like 13 damage. Yeah. Double strike it, it becomes 26. Disgusting. Cataxian probe needs to be banned. Absolutely disgusting. <laughs> Get rid of it. Did you see how explosive that was? Oh, wait. It's already done. Oh. <laughs> it's already banned. It's already banned. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Absolutely. Hope you guys enjoyed our modern Saturday coverage mm -hmm. that we did. Yeah. Um, something that we like to do from time to time if we're able to record up extra events, not just our regular scheduled Modern Magic Mondays, uh, we try to bring some coverage on Saturdays, too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so this is something that will continue to happen throughout the year um, in 2017. We've got a lot of other stuff planned. Um, more content coming out here. So if you guys have not followed yet, make sure you do so so you know when we go live with all the different projects that we're working on over here for Modern Magic Mondays. Of course, every Monday, 6.30 p.m. Eastern is when we go live with our weekly season that we have set up. Ten weeks of season play going into an invitational featuring the top eight players. Uh, who performed the best yeah. over those 10 weeks. And we're going to be moving into week number three on Monday. Mm -hmm. So you definitely can tune in and feel like you haven't really missed a whole lot. Yeah. And it's the first start... No. Not officially the start of when Gitaxi and Pro no. is, is gone. We've yeah. got one more week. Yep. Because of how it fell and how we do our schedule for recording, yeah. next week is the last week you may see either a Golgari Grave Troll or a Gitaxian Probe mm -hmm. on on uh, coverage. Yeah, I think it might just be a Gitaxian Probe, but I could be wrong. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Um, so besides this channel, of course, um, there's other projects and stuff we're working on. I, of course, have been doing some Hearthstone stuff. I've been doing some old school Blizzard games. Like, I've done the StarCraft Brood War campaign. That's already up on my YouTube. I'm working my way through the WarCraft 3 campaign right nice. now. Um, the Human and Undead are up there. And I've got the Orc one that I'm going to start uploading this coming week. Um, so make sure you guys do that. I'm also going to be posting up an unboxing of Aether Revolt at some point today for you guys to be able to enjoy and look at some of the cards and cool. all that fun stuff. Um, but what about you? What have you been working on? Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, over at twitch.tv slash farmersernar, totally variety gaming in all of its forms. Casual playthroughs, challenge runs, a couple speed runs here and there. We do pretty much everything. Um, even starting a uh, an online segment, uh, yeah. which I started last week, which was a lot of fun, where we just play online games. Mm -hmm. So just, you know, lots of different things cover a, lo you know, a wide range of gaming in general. Mm. Um, so if you guys are interested in that, by all means, follow us here yes. at The Real Nam Man, mm -hmm. at Farmer Zernar, Twitter, the whole deal, YouTube, we're everywhere. All that good stuff. Yep. Um, but that's going to do it for us with our coverage today, guys. Thanks so much for uh, tuning in and watching, and we'll see you guys on Monday. Later.